that was the National War Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire. It is the UK's year-round centre of remembrance. It's a really special space for spirituality and commemoration. Do you know it's really important when we're grieving to set aside some time on a regular basis to remember our loved ones, to perhaps light a candle in their memory. On the first Sunday of every month, you're invited to join us here to remember your loved ones. Welcome to a time to reflect. I light this candle for you. And I light this candle in memory of your loved one. Its memorial light tells the world that while they may be gone, his or her spirit lives on in us. And our lives will forever be tied together in the circle of life. Their life mattered and continues to matter. When you lose someone you love, your life becomes strange and the ground beneath you becomes fragile and your thoughts make your eyes unsure and some dead echo drags your voice down where words have no confidence. Your heart has grown heavy with loss. And though this loss has wounded others too, no one knows what has been taken from you when the silence of absence deepens. Flickers of guilt kindle regret for all that was left unsaid and undone. And there are days when you wake up happy, again inside the fullness of life, until the moment breaks again and you are thrown back onto the black tide of loss. Days when you have your heart back and you're able to function well until in the middle of work or encounter suddenly with no warning you are ambushed by grief. It becomes hard to trust yourself. All you can depend on now is that sorrow will remain faithful to itself. More than you, it knows its way and will find the right time to pull and pull the rope of grief until that coiled hill of tears has reduced to its last drop. Gradually, you will learn acquaintance with the invisible form of your departed. And when the work of grief is done, the wound of loss will heal and you will have learned to wean your eyes from the gap in the air and be able to enter the hearth in your soul where your loved one has awaited your return all the time. When the house doth sigh and weep, and the world is drawn in sleep, yet mine eyes the watch do keep. Sweet spirit, comfort me. When I am tossed about, either with despair or doubt, yet before the glass be out. Sweet spirit, comfort me. 
when the judgment is revealed, and that opened, that was sealed, when to thee I have appealed. Sweet Spirit, comfort me.